Greetings, fellow rock tumblers. Check it out. These are cut thunder eggs. I've got a bunch of these. And as luck would have it, I've got an empty three pound barrel. So what I thought I would do is take all these and get them rolling in my three pound barrel, get them all tumbled nice and smooth, and then try to get them polished. I've never tried to do this with these thunder eggs before. I'm kind of curious, how will they turn out? I have no idea. That's why we do the tumbling, right? So I will update this video once these have been through the coarse grit stage and are the smoothness that I'm looking for. And then we'll move them on to the polishing. Our little cut thunder eggs are finished with the coarse grit. As you can see, they're not perfect. I decided I wasn't going to leave these in and grind all these shells down to perfection because I think that would just make these things useless. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and polish them as is. I think the, the shiny parts, the chalcedony, should turn out really nice. We'll see. So the next step will be to get this in the vibratory tumbler for my usual eight day, four step process. And then when they're done, we'll take a closer look. Okay, the polish is finished. These actually turned out pretty good. What do you think? I like it. They took a decent shine. Let's take a closer look at some of these. I like how this one turned out. That looks pretty good there. It's lighter than the other ones too. You know, the other ones are sort of a dark brown. This one has this much lighter shell on it. Here's a pretty one with some waterline banding in it. I think that turned out pretty nice. What do you think? I actually, I think I'm starting to like this non-perfect finish. <laughs> that looks like the, wasn't there some, was it a Marvel or DC Comics, uh, was that character Rockman or that guy that was made of rocks? This, this is what he looked like. <laughs> yeah, that was not bad. This little one has some depth to it. If the lighting were better, you could see down in there. That's kind of cool. Oh, and this one's one of my favorites right here. The light's just not right to capture what's going on inside this thing. But there's some depth to it. You can see some stuff down in there. If you look just right. Here's a really pretty piece. I love that shade of blue. And this one has some like eyeballs in it. So I think this turned out really nice. And here's a cool dark one, look at this. It has what almost looks like an agate banding section in there. Like you'd see cutting open some of the, I don't know, condor agates or something. You can see it's translucent as well. All the way through. It's got those little sticks going on too. Isn't that great? I like that. This one so far might be my favorite. And here's another interesting one with some water banding in it. See kind of a strange little section right there. It just apparently stops. Little bubble over there. Yeah, that one's cool. And this one looks pretty good as well. What do you think? It's got some depth to it. That blue chalcedony pool. You just want to dive in it on a hot day. Oh, I really like this one. Look at this. That little crystal bug in there. Lots of chalcedony and some banding. That one's purdy. If you like water banding, look at this one. That is nice. I like that a lot. What do you think? This one's mostly chalcedony with the white hair on it. I don't know where that came from. Not me. I'm not, that, I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this one's really pretty. See how translucent it is? Clearly this one was cut in half and this is all that was in it, not much. This is one that I would describe as a dud when cutting these thunder eggs. This one's really nice. Look at this. Watch, watch as I turn it over here. Wee! Look at that. That's pretty. You got your waterline banding. I like it. And here's another one with some depth to it. I wish I could capture this better on this iPhone, but if you look down in that pool, you can see how it seems to go down forever in there. And then check out this pretty one right here. Again, it's just hard to capture that 
But there's a lot of depth over here and detail within that chalcedony. Very pretty. And finally, check out this one here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All that sort of mossiness in there, that cloudiness, whatever you want to call it. It's like quite a scene in there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I learned a lot about tumbling these small cut thunder eggs. I enjoyed it. I think they turned out pretty good. Some of them were complete duds, had nothing in them. Others looked really nice. And I have a bunch more of these too, so I may do another round of these. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Please check my other videos. Thanks again.